Welcome to another fantastic DataBits production. Today, we are going to take a look at a product that absolutely will blow your mind if you were in the year 2000. But uh, speaking of the year 2000 or around there, this is my very first digital camera. This is a Kodak DC3200. It's a one megapixel video or digital camera, and this camera was uh, quite the uh, an interesting piece of equipment that uh, I had, a very first camera to take pictures with digitally. It did not have a zoom, it had a fixed focus lens, and uh, it, it drained batteries like they were going out of style. I frequently had to just dislodge the uh, battery compartment because if I left it connected and left the batteries in there, they would just disappear. And uh, I don't know if you've ever experienced that with a Kodak camera, but this one did that. But uh, this was my first digital camera that I bought to uh, capture memories with the family and uh, so forth. Uh, it's been on a couple of float trips down Missouri rivers and survived. Uh, it had its own uh, LCD viewfinder there so that you could uh, review your photos and um, it used compact flash memory. So this was the original compact flash card that I used to store my photos on. And look at that, 128 megabytes of memory. So that tells you just how small in size these pictures were. But, uh, you know, it was a good camera. Uh, it still works. It's, it's still a good camera uh, for what it was. So, uh, you know, there's, you know, there's still, in fact, some, some pictures on here going way back. Look at there, there's me. Looks like I'm playing with a laptop or something there. I don't know who took that. Oh, yeah, okay. I know who it was. It was one of my kids. But anyway, so there's the Kodak uh, 3200 uh, digital camera. And, uh, yeah, quite the thing. So, you know, I would come home uh, after a float trip or uh, an outing adventure, and I would have this little flash card full of photos. And I was thinking, you know, there's got to be a way that I could take these pictures off of here and put them on something else. And, uh, you know, here's the other thing. I've got these zip disks laying around here. See, I've got this Maxell one. I've got this one from Fujifilm. I've got this iOmega Zip branded one. And I've got this Sony one. So I was thinking, you know, these would be a great place to store my photos. And then I thought, you know, wouldn't it be cool if I could plug in one of these zip disks and play the photos on my TV? I mean, seriously, wouldn't that be awesome? So I talked to the engineers at iOmega and they said, you know what, we have got the solution for you. And here's what they gave me. This was the iOmega Photo Show Zip 250. This unit will do exactly what I just said. I can take my compact flash cards and also my smart memory cards, if I have some of those, and I can plug them right into the front of this unit. And then there's a button right here that I can press and it will copy the contents of those memory cards directly to a zip disk. How cool is that? It's a completely self-contained media player Unfortunately, it doesn't play movies, but it will play my photos on screen. I mean, forget the Kodak uh, uh, picture CD or photo CD. This is so much better. So this uses Picture IQ technology. You see it right there. On the back of the unit, I've got my composite video and stereo left and right, and I have an S video output. Then I can take this machine here and plug it directly into my laptop or my PC and I can copy files to and from this unit. So it doubles as a just a zip disk drive to store stuff on. How cool is that? So I'm going to show you this unit hooked up to my little TV in here. I've got this Venturer TV and I'm going to use uh, the original power cord, which it has a gigantic brick of a power cord connected to it. And then so, uh, let's see, I need power, which is going to plug in on here. And then I've got my S-Video connector, which is going to connect here. And then I've got my left channel, right channel, 
composite video. We are hooked up and ready to go. All right, so let's go over to the TV because I want you to see uh, the cool graphics this thing has when you turn the unit on. And first, let's get rid of the flash. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the remote. So this is the amazing remote for the iOmega Photo Show. And you'll see up at the top here, we've got some ABC functions. We've got a back and a photo grid. Then we've got left, right, up, down, and go. And then here we have the edit button, the album button, and the slideshow button. And we've got a help button down here in case we just need some help. All right, with that behi behind us, let's go ahead and see what happens when we power this on. Here we go. Photo Show Digital Image Center powered by Picture IQ with Adobe Photoshop technology. Did you see that? It's amazing. All right, so it says, please insert a zip disk to use Photo Show. All right, so the unit is essentially useless without some kind of a zip disk put in. So let's go ahead and put the disk in. Again, I'll show you uh, that's happening over here on the right in the dark. Sorry about that. And there it goes, and it's just kind of kind of wind up there and do a scan on the disk and tell us what's on it. And we even get some really groovy sound effects as well. So I'll, uh, I'll crank up the volume here so we can hear those amazing sound effects. There we go. All right, so this shows that uh, this picture was taken on January 1st of 2000. I'm not sure how accurate that is. But let's go and look at some of the functions that we have available to us along the bottom of the screen there. So let's see. We've got uh, Open and Create Album. We've got View As. Is that what that said? It does say that. View as. Okay, just checking. Move photos in and out. Arrange photos. Choose theme. Delete photos. Delete album. And then we have album info. So let's go ahead and do that first. So our album info says it's from 623 of 2083. Wow, okay, so this is when I took my DeLorean into the future, took some photos and came back. So uh, we'll get to those in a minute. This uh, album has 44 photos and show the caption and date. Okay, so our album from 623, 2083. I don't know how in the world that happened, but hey, we're there. Um, let's go over and look at the uh, theme first. Now the theme is just going to show us what's on the background behind us here. So right now we're using Deep Sea, but we could change that to Avocado. There we go. There's our Avocado. And if we decided we wanted to go with Basket Weave, we could do that. And then we've got Slate. So anyway, you get the idea, but let's go ahead and stick with Deep Sea because it's the prettiest. All right, let's go over here and do uh, this first one here. So it's open or create an album. So we can open an album or we can create a new album. So let's go ahead and open our album on here. So this is showing you the contents of this uh, disc. And I can go down here to all my photos which kind of takes us back to this main screen. Now on the remote, I can go ahead and, and hit the uh, photo grid button, which is kind of cool. And this gives you an overview of the photos that are on the disk already. So uh, I've already copied my photos from my compact flash card to the zip drive because needless to say, and you may understand this, uh, this thing is really slow. So it took forever to copy these one megapixel pictures onto the disk. So uh, here's some, some old pictures of my kids. Let's see, here's a, here's a really nice picture of a chair that I'm going to bring up here. There it is. Now, strange how it's doing it like that. All right, let's go to the slideshow button on the remote. Get out of this menu here. Okay. 
Here we go. Would you like to create your first slideshow? Okay, sure. So our, my first slideshow, we'll just call it bad, since this technology is so bad. And then uh, go means I'm done. So uh, wait back. I'm going to accept it by hitting C. Okay, so bad, B-A-D-D. -D. So there's my slideshow. Now I want to uh, create a slideshow, create from an album. All right, so now I can go up and pick the album here. I'm going to use photos from there. All right, so there's one of my kids when he was much younger. And uh, now let's hit the slideshow button. Now by hitting the right arrow key, I can go ahead and check through my pictures here. Again, all taken with my Kodak camera from Timbuk2 many years ago. Hey, there's the outside of a Hardy store. So I think one of my kids I gave this uh, camera to and they just uh, went like crazy with it on a vacation that we had taken. So just to give you an idea. And there's one of those rivers that we ended up floating on at that time. So my son was quite the photographer. These are, these are quite beautiful. All right, so some of the other functionality of this unit. Obviously, we are watching our photos on TV. You know, problem solved. We've got it. So we're going to go back to our menu here. So let's go to edit. Oh, wait, there's something really cool i got to show you. Hang on. Go back. Go back. Hello. So, well, I guess we'll look at this. This is the edit screen. So I can rotate the picture. I can auto-fix it. I can remove red eye. I can crop. I can add an effect. I can undo my changes. I can save, like save it as a new photo, or check out the information on it. So let's let's look at that. So the photo is named DCP0012. There's no caption. The <laughs> The time and date was 1-1 one, one of 2000, January 1st. It looks a little warmer in that picture than January 1st would be here in Missouri. This photo is 1152 by 864 pixels and uses 325K of disk space. Wow, I could put that on a floppy. All right, so let's go back here. How do I get out of this thing? Go to album. All right, so now I'm back to my album view. What I wanted to show you was the really groovy zoom feature that this thing has. So let's go to the photo grid. I'm hitting these buttons and it's like, nope, I'm not doing that. View full screen. How about that? There we go. All right, so you can see right there it says press go to zoom in. So let's go to a different picture first. Something that has a little bit more detail in it. All right, so let's say we needed to see that label that's on the window there. So I'm going to hit go, and then I can do like, uh, what is that, uh, that like forensic type stuff where I can, you know, read the uh, read the license plate on the on the getaway car or something. So I move it around and I find the place that I want to zoom in, and then I hit go. It thinks about it because it's really smart thinking about this stuff and there it is it's at 200 percent that is fantastic all right so if i hit the help button at this point when viewing your photos as full screen images use up and down to page through your photos press go to zoom in zoom in allows you to view a high resolution photo in more detail this is a visual aid and will not crop your photo press back to undo the zoom in when zoomed in, press C to back out one step at a time or press back to return to the original album view. All right, so I'm going to get out of this. And let's see. I just hit the letter C. Zoom in again here. Isn't this fascinating? Imagine if 
wouldn't you, wouldn't anybody want this capability in their home? Being able to do this kind of stuff. All right, so now I can go to the next photo here. I tried this with uh, more modern photos that were taken on a, you know, like on my iPhone or whatever, and it took forever for this thing to load these pictures. So you kind of, when you're playing with older technology, you kind of have to work on its level. You have to take it back in time and, and use uh, media that uh, it understands and can deal with uh, regularly. So the fact that it's, f you know, really going fast through these photos is, is you know, a testimony to the fact that these pictures are really small pictures as well. So anyway, um, that pretty much covers the uh, the iOmega Photo Show, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know about you, but I love running across old technology like this, especially if it's still usable and uh, can do stuff. Here is the eject key here, so I'm going to press that. And it immediately yells at me and then says, insert a disk. So just like any other uh, zip drive that you may have run across, uh, it has a 100 megabyte storage capacity. I actually have a zip 250 and it's, um, it is a, um, uh, it's a USB only. It doesn't have to have a, a power brick to power it. You can just plug it into your USB and you're ready to go. It has like a blue translucent, uh, look to it but uh, that is the unit itself now you may be wondering can I just put in my memory card and just view it on screen and the answer is no you can't just put in your memory card like this and have it be read by the machine you have to copy it to a zip drive to a zip disk in order to use that functionality and uh, wow I wish I knew how to uh, have the coordination to put this disk in here. But uh, it will acknowledge that you've plugged it in. You saw the little blinking light there. But I cannot view my photos. As you can see on screen, it says insert a zip disk to use the photo show. When I bought this unit secondhand, I realized that uh, it would not come on at all. There is no power button on the front or anywhere else to turn the unit on. You have to use the remote's power button. So I ended up having to buy a remote for it off of eBay to uh, show you guys the functionality and, and really to see if this thing even worked. But uh, in any case, it's fun, it's cool, it's old, and uh, takes us back. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And, uh, you know, just forget about Apple TV. Forget about, you know, your Xbox 360 and all the other hundreds of electronics that we own nowadays. Some even DVD players you can plug a photo card into. Forget all that. You you need the iOmega Photo Show, and I hope he'll pick you up one today. In fact, if you order now, you can have this unit for just $19.95 per week. And if you order today, I'll send you two zip disks for free. There you go. How about that? I'm just kidding. I'm not really selling this to you. So anyway, I thought that'd be kind of fun. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please check out the remainder of my channel. We are running our video signal today through this RCA DVD and DVR unit, which you can also see on my channel, just in case you were wondering. And please subscribe, share with a friend, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.